It's happening again. History is repeating itself. You need investment. And the investment didn't come from Hitler. It came from Brown Brothers Harriman and their business associate, Fritz Thiessen. It came from Jalmar Schacht and his best friend, Sir Montague Collett Norman. It came from men like Axel Wenegren, the Swedish multimillionaire arms manufacturer, and Charles Bedeau, the French business mogul. These people were all in the same bed with their Nazi friends, the Duke and Duchess of Windsor, the Dulles brothers, Prescott Sheldon Bush, the and George Herbert Walker, with whom they'd created the Union Bank for laundering Nazi money. Oh, and with stage one of their plan for world domination complete, they now turned to the second phase, which was meant to be the overthrow of American democracy and the imposition of fascist government upon the United States. In order to pull this off, Hello. these Nazis raised money from America's richest families, many of whom, in this new consumerist society, had become household names. The Colgate family, the Birdseye family, the DuPont family, the Rockefeller family. These people Bro. handed over millions to the American financiers of Hitler so they could hire, train and supply a private army which would attempt to overthrow the democratically elected government of Franklin Delano Roosevelt and impose fascist dictatorship in America. Trump, hello. Of course, it's natural to wonder, the coup. considering they had such advantages, how on earth they failed to pull it off. The simple answer is that they chose the wrong man because their choice to lead this Nazi insurrection was Major General Smedley Darlington Butler, the most decorated soldier of the period and in all of American history, perhaps the most unsung hero of all. Because Smedley Butler was the most genuine Democrat and lover of liberty the world has ever seen. I appeared before the Congressional Committee, the highest representation of the American people under subpoena to tell what I knew of activities, which I believe might lead to an attempt to set up a fascist dictatorship. The plan as outlined to me was to form an organization of veterans, to use as a bluff or as a club at least, to intimidate the government Hello? and break down our democratic institutions. The Hello. upshot of the whole thing was that I was supposed to lead an organization of 500,000 men which would be able to take over the functions of government. My main interest in all this is to preserve our democratic institution. I want to retain same. the right to vote. Fucking same. I have the right to speak freely and the right to write. If we maintain these basic principles, our democracy is safe. No dictatorship can exist with suffrage, freedom of speech and press. Smedley Butler tricked the plotters into thinking he was interested for just long enough until he was sure who all the major players were and then he told them